Okay, today we start assembling the striker pneumatics that will hook to the key valves. On this, we have our new newly restored valve body, I mean the pneumatics body, all the bellows have been redone. So this will be an accomplishment I've been waiting for for about four months. Okay, this is the back side that hooks up each one is numbered. So we have that in there. And we will get it, we'll show you where it goes next. Okay, looking inside the Calliope, we have the back side and it's not going to focus right. That each one of these hooks up to one of the backside of the Wurlitzer valves that are in there. So each one, I'll show you as I go and get it done. We'll show you putting it in. Okay, we've got it inserted into the right position. The rods are not hooked up yet. What we've got to do though, is we've got to get inside and hook up the hoses before we mount with the mounting screws that we've got a, in. We've got it moved out a little bit so we can reach in to hook up the hoses that go back inside. Some hoses have been taken off. Some hoses were left hooked up that we have to hook up from Wurlitzer valve blocks to the striker pneumatics. So we'll start hooking up the hoses before we mount this inside. Wish me luck. Okay, as we're putting the striker bellows assembly together, we notice this one screw that's back here. It, it's really hard to get to, and you can see I'm doing it. But if you look where I've got, it's going all the way across this. Just a note to let you know what we got to do to reach some of this stuff. So it goes all the way in to the other side. That's just a note. So, this is what we had to do. We have our extension on this. And a socket on the end. But, we got her. Okay, <clears throat> we've got all the bolts in. We're holding it. We've got our safety mechanism across there to keep the rods from getting in the way. So this end is closed up and we can see down in inside there. That's the pressure regulating valve here it's to maintain the one pound of pressure that we need. So we're going to hook up all the Striker key bellows. And hopefully we got everything back in the right order. Okay. So onward. More later. 
Okay, we're going to show you here what we're doing is putting the pull rods into each bellows for hooking up to the valves up top. So as we go along, all the bellows are working good, there's no sticky. So as we go here, looks like I'm in the way here, so we'll try to keep our hands out of the way. Just going in, putting all the rods into the bellows pull bar. Make sure we got them all. I guess we could go with all the bottom row first. Right. Work our way across here. I think that works best. And then we'll show you what Dad came up with as keepers for these. Okay, we're gonna pause here. Okay, okay, resuming the video here. Now we're gonna put these little locks on to connect when the bellows actuates. It pulls down on the valve, you can see in the background, to sound the note. So I don't know if dad made all these or not, but we've got a bunch to put on and we will uh, be putting those, lining them up. He even put little indentations in the rods, you can see, for the set screws to go into. So we're going to line those up. Okay, got these little they got rounded ends on them, that's to go up, so we can put this on here and find the center. And just lock her down. There we go. That's all there is to it. We just got to do this 43 times and we'll have all of the bellows hooked up. Making sure we got got it in the hole in the little indentation there. Three down, 40 to go. So we'll resume in a little bit. Okay, we've got all the little keeper nuts on the bellows. And so now we are ready to hook it up and go through the scale make a MIDI file up to go through the scale and uh, make sure they all work so we'll uh, we'll be back <laughs> 